disclaimer for you guys. I was not sent this unit. Um, I'm not being sponsored or paid to do this. I purchased it myself, went on the website, on the sales website, and picked out the unit myself, paid for it myself. So this is my true, like legit, this is what I experienced. So, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm here today to do a quick review on my RPG show unit. And that's the unit that I have on right now, which is the Naomi. Yeah, Naomi unit, and it's a CLS019. So as I pick off a uh, hair that just fell out. Um, so let's see. So I'm gonna give you guys information on the unit first. So it's Naomi glueless cap human hair. Um, it's full lace. It's straight. I got it at 16 inches. So looks like that. And um, this isn't straight out of the box. I'll explain that in a moment. Um, cap size one, it's medium brown. It's yakky texture, so it's more like your natural hair texture. It's not silky or anything like that. And I got a cap, cap three glueless lace cap. And color is 1B. Now, the hair came in this box right here. And that's the RPG show box with the information on the unit that I purchased. Um, and in the box, you have a couple of items. They give you a brush, RPG Show hairbrush. It's a little brown brush. There's hair in there because I've used it. Um, it comes in this little bag right here, which I keep for storage purposes. Um, followed by, they gave me some wig caps. They gave me two liner wig caps, and they're both in a light brown color. Um, and, of course care instructions for the unit and then just little things uh, the unit I ordered came in about I believe two days it came in two days and for the Canadians out there the awesome part about it is I didn't have to pay customs because I was kind of worried about that paying customs on a purchase this large it's like I don't feel like shelling out another 80 bucks or something so it was great didn't have to pay customs on it it came with DHL and it arrived within like two business days from when they shipped it they unfortunately didn't ship it until like two weeks after I ordered it. I don't know why. I was going back and forth with them on email. I think something happened. I'm not sure, but it didn't ship until about two weeks after I ordered it. But it did arrive two days after they shipped it. Um, so now let me give you guys my review on the unit so far. So this isn't how it came out of the box, as I mentioned. I have cut the bangs just a little bit. I think I cut like, it was probably about that much longer. So I don't know, a couple inches. I cut that much off it because it was just too much just in my eyes. Um, so I had it to the side for a little while. If you guys saw that in my other vlogs, I had it kind of swooped to the side just because I wasn't sure if I was going to cut it yet or not. So I wore it to the side for a little bit to get out of my eyes. And then when I was going out the other day uh, for, I think it was like a party or whatever, I decided to sort of like do a little, I don't know, fake curl to the end. Hence why it looks like this. And so naturally, it's just like super straight. So that's kind of how it came, and this is what it is right now. Um, so let me explain how I wore it for you guys. So the first week, I wore it completely untouched. Didn't do anything to it. Literally just threw it on my head and wore it for a week without altering anything. In that time, I found the bangs were too long, said I'd cut it. I found that the lace was just, like, driving me crazy. So I thought, okay, I gotta cut. Because I didn't actually cut off, like, the normal lace since it's bangs. I can just hide that. So I didn't cut off the extra lace or anything. So after the first week... I was like, all right, I'm going to cut the extra lace like around the edges off and wash it. So I washed it and cut off the lace. And after that, um, I let it air dry. I didn't put anything on it. I didn't put any products. And I washed it with like the gentle, I thought I just did like a conditioner wash. Actually, I didn't do a full wash. I think just like a co-wash. And I let it air dry. So after it air dried, I found that my bangs were gone. I couldn't find them. Like the hair kind of separated and went into two and the bangs were just impossible to find. So I had to kind of recreate like the bang part myself. And this is the sort of result of me doing that. And uh, so after I recreated, I had to obviously like then kind of flat iron the bangs into a little bump so it would kind of, I don't know, bang back up. <laughs> um, so I did that to it. And I think that's all I did to it after that. So I put it back on and found the edges were still like, my hairline was on fire. And I don't know what that is. I don't know if I'm allergic to lace or if it's just this unit. Because I thought after washing, it should stop itching for sure. And it didn't. It still hasn't stopped. So what I've been doing is I have just like a little um, 
they're kind of like a pantyhose thing. It's not a pantyhose, I actually purchased it. It's like, a, I don't know, it's for your airline. I have it on right now, so. But it's just like a little thin silk, long piece of material. And I sort of tie that every time I'm gonna put it on. I tie that around my hairline, all the way around. And then I make sure that the edge of the actual unit sits on that silk. Because I feel, because then from there I don't get any itch because it's not actually touching my skin. So again, if you guys have had any issues like this in your experience, please let me know. And I don't know if it's just like, maybe it's just me and I'm just allergic to lace, which sucks if I am. But that's my experience so far. The hairline has been super itchy. I can't wear it without the um, silk unit. Like I just can't. After 20 minutes, I'm sitting there like this. Just, it's ridiculous. So right now I do have that on. Maybe I'll show it to you guys. Um, it's like that, if you guys can see, like, yeah, so I kind of have that going on around my entire hairline to avoid being able to see that. And I'm really just doing this to protect my hair in the winter time because I don't want my hair breaking. And also, another experience I've had with it is, I'm not, again, I'm not sure if this is because I've put heat to it, which shouldn't be happening, but it is like naughty like I can't get through without like if you guys can yeah like I can't get through without that happening once like in the morning when I brush it it's perfect it looks gorgeous and within half an hour of wearing it it's like I go through and I'm just sitting there picking out those knots all day long like it looks great but that's the situation that I'm dealing with so I don't know if this is my unit or if I did something wrong, I avoided putting products in it at first because I have used like virgin hair before and I've never had to put products in my virgin hair. People that I buy them from, like the girl always tells me, you know, avoid putting products if you don't have to. You put, you know, your um, heat protectant on it whenever you do have heat to it, but don't put too much product. So I've avoided putting product in this, but after a while it was looking really dull and just, it was looking beat up. And just a little bit ratchet so I added some olive oil to the ends and I've been able to get it to look back to look like this again so it's just like literally like cooking olive oil just kind of run my hands and ran it through the hair and that's how I got it to look like this so I think that about wraps up my experience with this so far I love how it looks I think it looks great it looks natural I just wish I didn't have all these little kinks to it I wish you know it wasn't itching the crap out of my scalp and my hairline because I want to be able to purchase another one that doesn't have bangs, but I'm scared because if I have to deal with that, I'm not going to walk around with that being exposed to the world. I'm just, yeah, not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, that's my experience so far. If you guys have any questions, thoughts, ideas, whatever, please comment below and let me know what you guys think of it, what you guys think of the unit, what you guys think of my experience with it so far, and um, yeah, I'd be glad to answer any questions that you guys have. Hope I covered everything. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, we've talked about this situation. We've talked about how it looked out of the box, and yeah, like obviously it doesn't shed really when you brush it. But it's when I'm running my hands through getting those knots out, I always lose, you know, a couple of strands. Like, in sitting here making this video, I lost that much hair. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Maybe like that. I don't know. Maybe you guys can see. Maybe not. But yeah, I lost that much in just sitting here and like showing you guys this whole process. So I don't know. RPG show. I'm. I was so happy the first time I got. It. I was just like, yes, I would love it. And then over time, I'm just kind of like, I don't know if I'd do this again. I'd rather just buy my own hair that I usually buy and make it into a unit myself, like I normally do. So I'm kind of sad about that because I was super excited, but. That's my experience. Let me guys let me know again what you guys think. Talk to you guys next time. Bye.